For those of you who are not as familiar, Dawson's Creek was a major TV show in the late 90s on the WE Network, focusing on its primary character Dawson Leary and his two best friends, Joey Potter and Pacey Witter, with the addition of Jen and Jack in later seasons. Dawson is a film geek and desperately wants to make movies as a career. Oftentimes, this may lead him to think that life is a movie or fantasy. Very soon after its first season, the show found itself moving away from the old-fashioned teen love story that dominated the 80s and 90s, geared towards the kind of romance and relationships we see on popular TV shows and teen soaps over the next two decades. With a new creative team on board, in order to save the show, they had to fundamentally change the formula. That's when Dawson's Creek went from being about the title character Dawson and his possessive love for Joey, to being about Joey herself, torn between Dawson and his best friend Pacey. So here's a little backstory. By the end of the first season, a lot of the stories had resolved themselves. Pacey's English teacher left town, Dawson and Jen broke up, because Dawson couldn't handle that Jen wasn't a virgin. Then Dawson realized he was in love with Joey, and they kissed. But after adding some new faces in the second season, like Jack, Andy, and even more screen time for funny bad girl Abby, there was only so much back and forth that could happen between Dawson and Joey. Throughout the show, multiple characters would lecture Joey repeatedly on the idea that she should be with Dawson. Joey sacrifices a trip to go to Paris. She organized her entire life around him. Their first breakup is prompted when Joey realized that she has nothing in her life besides Dawson. But everything changed by season three which shifted the lives and structure of our three leads. This new dynamic powered the show for four full seasons, highlighting the romantic and dramatic conflict that would never run dry, whether Joey is with Dawson or Pacey. From the season three finale onward, every one of Dawson's Creek season premieres and season finales would revolve around the love triangle and its fallout. The introduction of the love triangle fundamentally destabilized the show. It suggests that a universe exists in which Joey did not belong to Dawson, an idea that everyone, including Pacey, would come to realize. This is best summarized by the plot very early in season four, where Joey is accepted into the college of her dreams, but finds out that she doesn't have the financial aid to attend and doesn't want to take out major student loans to be in debt. Dawson, after recently receiving a lot of cash, offers to pay for Joey's tuition for her. This offer pushes Joey to guilt-stricken tears, and also the fact that she's been keeping something major from Dawson, that she is no longer a virgin, and that she slept with Pacey. This moment is significant to fans of the show, because it's worth noting that Dawson and Joey had already been broken up for two seasons at this point, and that she's been dating Pacey for nine months. Nonetheless, they treat the idea that they slept with someone else as some kind of betrayal, the Dawson-Joey storyline was consistently built around the idea that Joey belongs to Dawson, and that if she doesn't, he can buy her. It played a central mythology in the first two seasons, where sex, love, loyalty, and ownership are all intertwined. Dawson had this secret romantic value system in place, which became very obvious early on, the way he treats and at times shames Jen Lindley for having sex with guys while having no strings attached compared to Joey, who always said she would lose her virginity to the right person. The Joey and Pacey love story was not complete without its passion, and some might even say some of the most tense filled moments of the show every time their relationship was being tested. One scene comes to mind in season four. While attending their senior prom, the two have a big blowout in the center of the dance floor with everyone to see. Pacey is the funny guy, but he didn't come from a stable home, consistently ridiculed by his father, or being made fun of by his older brother, he was the black sheep of the family. The slow buildup of Joey and Pacey's relationship really resonated with fans of the show. He easily had some of the best monologues about his repressed and tortured feelings when it comes to love. The audience rooted for Pacey and Joey to be together, not because they thought Joey loved Pacey more, her feelings had to remain ambiguous for the love triangle to work, but because they thought Pacey deserved her more than Dawson. The Dawson-Joey storyline took its strength from watching Joey repeatedly sacrifice herself to please Dawson, while the Joey-Pacey storyline was repeatedly organized around Joey's choices. Pacey realized this and asked early on when they were dating. Their relationship would further be built on Joey's choices. With her deciding to join Pacey on a boat trip over the summer, Joey deciding that she'd rather attend her dream college than stay with her boyfriend in the small town where they grew up. In later seasons of Dawson's Creek, 
Joey may have been a prize that demonstrated Pacey's worth, but Pacey showed his worthiness by encouraging Joey to prioritize her own choices.